What is going on everyone? It's Gage here and welcome to You Book That. Um, today, I'm actually going to make my first Jim Harbaugh video. Um, so let's get started. Jim Harbaugh, there's been a lot of reports, even some last night, that a lot of people have been uh, talking about. And that's Mark Carmen's uh, tweet last night. So supposedly by him... Uh, Jim Harbaugh is supposed to be a Dolphin. He's supposedly picking them over the Minnesota Vikings. I don't know about that. I don't know. Because it's, dude, I looked him up. Bear Blogger. Okay, cool. Maybe he had some inside information. He could. Who knows? I don't know. But, he's just not, uh, I don't, never heard this dude. This is the first time I ever heard his name. I'm like, who? Uh, yeah, I'm... Uh, so, yeah, so I was very skeptical. <laughs> I'm like, eh, I don't know, man. Jim Harbaugh, I've been hearing reports he's very interested in the Minnesota job. So I don't think he would pick, if Vikings didn't hire him, they said, no, you're out. Then I believe he might take the Miami job because I know Stephen Ross has some connections to him. So I, uh, I'd be like, okay, then maybe, maybe he could if, uh, he, if the Vikings choose him, uh, Ryan's over him, then sure. But no, I have heard reports today that Jeremy Flower, the ESPN reporter, has said that actually that Harbaugh's had significant interest in the Vikings job. And the Vikings, after the interview, reports that they felt that Harbaugh's ready to come out of the NFL and is a big part of the, the head coaching mix. So we'll most likely see an interview for him this week. So no. I don't think it is going. A report's going to happen today. I think, end of the week. I think the rules something happen. Maybe by Saturday, Friday. But yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Miami is definitely in the mix for Harbaugh. I think it's going to come down to the Vikings or Miami for the head coaching job for Harbaugh. But no, mm -hmm. I'm going to choose a more reliable source. Even like Jeremy Flower. Flower. That's a dude I heard of a few times. So that's a more reliable source. So no. So yeah, check your resources, check your information before, uh, you know, trust in a source. Because even if it's, dude, even like Purple for the Win, I gotta give him credit for this because he gave me a lot, because I, I started to believe it until I watched Purple for the Win's video. He, uh, even if he, it doesn't matter if he didn't get it, there's no loss in it because he doesn't have a lot of credibility. And so it's, you know, like someone like, Adam Schefter or Ian Rapid, they are a little more rival sources and they have a lot more to lose than um, someone that's upcoming. So yeah, I, uh, I'm going to choose them. I'm going to choose a more rival source. <laughs> anyway, besides, and, but Harbaugh, he's, he was with San Francisco for four years. Him and uh, Cam had a, they crossed roads for about two years together, so they worked together in San Francisco. Cam had a lot of experience with 49 He was there until 2019 and spent two years with the Cleveland Browns. And Harbaugh is, uh, he's 44 and uh, 19 and 1. Pretty good record, man. He's never had a losing record in his career. So he, so I believe Vikings, two, I believe uh, Ryan's and uh, Jim Harbaugh should be the top. That's, that O'Connell could be a possibility. But even if the, even if he was a trust, it's gonna be two weeks till they even have a chance to hire him. Oh no, guys, it doesn't look too good. And Rasheed Morris, don't <laughs> that dude. I we saw what he was as a head coach. I don't think we need to see experience like that again. The Vikings, uh, yeah, yeah, they need uh, they need a leader. Rasheed Morris, I'm not impressed with his defense play calls or anything like that. He kind of reminds me of Todd Bowles, to be honest. But yes, yeah, so that's my take on Harbaugh. And I personally, I've been a Harbaugh fan for a while, and uh, I'd be I'd be excited. The only thing is his energy. That's the only thing that really messed him up before. But people evolve. It's eight years ago that happened, and there wasn't, and and actually Patrick Willis liked him. He's like, yeah, man, this dude's a great coach. Even uh, even a respectful running back, Frank Gore, is like, yeah, that's my dude. So, yeah, I take these guys' words over some other players that are, you know, not very known. So, that's my take on Harbaugh. If he's with the Vikings, they're going, they're going to be a Super Bowl contender. Mark my words on that. But, on to the next business. The Bucks. 
because this is the Bucks channel after all. Um, so Tom Brady has not officially retired, but I what Greg Allman said. He says it. It hasn't officially. He hasn't officially said it, but there's a leak within the with his close group. Um, it's just a matter of when could be, possibly. We could, we could both be, you know, we could be wrong. If I'm, you know, and, uh, yeah, I don't know who does. Tom Brady could be pissed about this big, hey, man, I'm coming back just because you guys said I was going to retire. <laughs> I don't think he's going to base a decision on that, but I think, uh, Tom Brady, if I'm putting my opinion out there, I think he's retired. I what else does he have to play for? He's won seven Super Bowls, one with the Bucks. He's won a Super Bowl in his own stadium. The only this, and if he won one Super Bowl, he would have came back because my, because he is he loves records, and he would have tried to do something no one ever has and won three straight Super Bowls. No one has ever done that. But since he didn't, I don't see him coming back. I, he's on everything. He played two years. He played. He got a sixty million guaranteed. That's it. This is a perfect time to walk away. And he came with a 24-point deficit in the playoffs. What a better way to end than that. On his part, he did a great job. Had a career high in passing yards with 5,300 yards, 43 touchdowns, and 12 picks. He was just high. But if you look back at his career, that's all, it's always been like that. So, yeah, I think Tom Brady's retired. And, uh, and Bruce Aarons has mentioned door number two if Brady retires. And... I'm just going to say this. I would love Russell Wilson. The dude's looking at trade and he would want to go to a team. I'd say, you know, I wouldn't mind having him. We would have to trade a good bit. Maybe two first-round picks. And, I don't know, maybe Kyle Trask if they want him. But, uh, but yeah, I would love to have him. I would love to have him. And Aaron Rodgers is obviously a possibility. I just don't like his – I'm not a big fan of his energy. I don't like his personality. I, uh, I don't know. I just – I'm not a big fan of him. He's a good quarterback, don't get me wrong, but I just don't like the me, me, me attitude. I don't like that, bro. I just don't like it. People can say, oh, no, he's for Steve, he's for Steve. I don't see that, man. I don't see that. And it's a reflection of how, it's a reflection of the playoffs. He went one now. It's a reflection. Those the leaders will prevail. And, you know, he's won the Super Bowl. You can't take the Super Bowl as big as it is. I, I don't know. Tom Brady won because he was a leader. He led his team. He he did stuff for himself sometimes, you know, records and shit like that. But overall, he's for the team. He even took a cheaper contract to come to uh, uh, Buccaneers because he wanted his team to be successful. Rodgers wants the contracts. He wants the me, me. I'm the reason the Packers are where they are. Me, me, me. I don't like that. Russell Wilson, I like, I respect his game. And he's never said... Uh, He's always been respectful, even when true rumors come out. He's like, I, I won't take out the possibility, but these are teams I would want if this happened. But I'm for the team. I would like to be a CL for the rest of my life. That's a different talk for another time. But, yeah, Russell Wilson is a leader. I love that. Deshaun Watson, that's a whole different scenario. And the court cases are a big thing, and I don't know if he's innocent or not innocent. I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't even put him as a spectacle until after the civil, the court cases and all that. But he is an option, and I believe he'd be a great franchise quarterback for a long time. But I don't know. I don't know. I'd be happy if he came here. If he's, you know, if he didn't, because that lot twenty twenty cases. That's a lot, man. Why are you putting yourself in that situation, especially when you're a leader of the team? That's a reflection of the team, because you're part of the team. Every time you put that uniform on, you're representing your team, and that's not a good look at all, man. I like, and if he the Bucks, he would uh, he'd be on a slim thing. And I'm not sure if I want to risk two first round picks for a dude that could fuck, if he fucks up one more time. That's it. We can't afford it. You know, so I'd rather give someone reliable. So Russell Wilson is number one for me. Rogers number two, and uh, Deshaun Watson. Number, actually, I don't want to put Rogers in the list. You know, I'd rather have. This. <laughs> I was wanting to. I wanted to put Watson over that dude at this point. And number three, hmm, it's tough. It's tough. If we, I, I hate to say this because I watched Vikings, but maybe Kirk Cousins possibility. Um, at least for one year, just to see what you know. I don't know. Kirk Cousins is uh, very robotic. 
I just, he doesn't have that a lot of energy. Like, yeah, he's, uh, I don't know, boy, he's, uh, he's a different story. Uh, and, uh, no, he's just, he, he's not, he's not the dude that bring over the top, like, yeah, let's go. We need, uh, that's why we need air leaders to step up, uh, for, or if Kirk Cousins didn't come to Tampa. But yeah, that's my takes on the second door and uh, about Jim Harbaugh. So, hope you guys love this video. Like and subscribe and uh, see you guys in the next video.